Welcome to Off The Ranch. Three days of working out in a hotel. Three days straight. Hotels are the hardest place to work out because you feel like you're away from home, you don't need a workout, but I did it three days in a row. I'm super pumped. I can barely lift my arms. I need to put on my clothes, but like, ugh, it just seems painful. Like to have to lift my arms up and stretch them over my head. I wish I could just like fall into these clothes and they would just come on. Oh, oh, That'd be nice. Wait up. I've got an idea. Oh! Ah, it worked! <laughs> I knew it! Some people say showers are important. Some people are dumb. Morning danger. Hey. We just ate at a Two Sisters restaurant. We also ate here yesterday and we ended up having the same server. Uh, so I made a video the other day where we were at a different restaurant, which I won't name, uh, and you could definitely hear a mouse in the ceiling. And it was not a, the food was, it was okay, it wasn't bad, but it wasn't anything special. And we told some of the locals we went there and they were like, oh, you went there? And they were like, you need to go to Twin, Two Sisters, you need to go to Two Sisters. So yesterday we ate lunch at Two Sisters. And today we came back here for breakfast and we just ate. And the waitress walked up, the same waitress we had yesterday, and she said, you want Diet Coke, you want Cherry Coke? And we're like, how did you remember that? Like she's probably seen a hundred people since she saw us, she remembered, which I thought was cool. And so we ordered our breakfast and part of my breakfast took a long time. She was like, I'm so sorry, I don't know why it's still in the kitchen. And she ended up taking off, she was super nice. And so anyway, we had a great time. The, the food was great, the waitress was nice. So we gave her a big tip and she walked up she was like, you, sh you guys sure you wanted to give this much money? And we're like, yeah. She was like, we were making sure what an accident. We're like, no, we, we really liked you and thought it was awesome. And we, you were, we were impressed by you. And she was like, I've been a waitress since I was 15 years old and no one's ever gave, and it wasn't a crazy amount. Like we didn't give her that much. It was like, I was, I was surprised that that was the biggest tip she ever had. But she got the biggest tip and it was fun. Like it was, it was really cool and I just was like, I have employees and I want all my employees to be like you, like she was awesome. And so anyway, if you're ever in the Quad Cities area, we highly recommend Two Sisters Restaurant. We're heading uh, back to the Rock Island Auction House right now. This is the last day. I think we're probably not gonna bid on anything today. Basically, here's the deal. I told Mayor that I may or may not have bought something and she made it very clear that I should not buy anything else and there's nothing there's a lot of great things in here, but there's nothing uh, worth facing the wrath of Mayor in, in today's auction. So we're just gonna go look around. Probably just leave my, my bidder's card in the car. Um, I mean, we could we could bring it just in case. Just don't use it? Yeah, just don't use it. Like fold it up, but have it. I feel like I know how it's gonna go. We probably should leave it in the car. That's true. Maybe we'll break. <laughs> no, I think I think we're just looking today um, for the the sake of my marriage. Uh, so we have last day here, and then we're flying out later today. Let's just go see if they got anything crazy in there. Seventeen. What do you think? Seventeen hundred. Seventeen hundred. What do you think? Seventeen. What do you think? Seventeen hundred. Last call. Fair warning. Sold. Sixteen. Fifteen. Fifty-six. Seventeen. Fifty-six. Last thirty-two. Very cool forty-four. Very unique. Very cool. Remington. Over under Derringer. Trying to be cool. Trying to be cool. Trying to be cool. The next one up is a pocket call. knife. Sold 1,000, but number 8,090, lot 32, 46, now, 42, 50 now, 45, 100, 45, 100, what do you think of 45, 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 what do you so uh, I still can't tell you. We have to wait until the Demo Ranch video. We're gonna go back and see if we can see both guns right now. Okay, so here's the two guns in question. <laughs> so one of these will be back in Texas soon, and one of these 
Well, I don't know where it's going. I have no idea. But <laughs> uh, I just want both of them. I just wish I could have had both. It's actually probably better for the marriage that I only got one today. Um, but, you know, I said uh, I didn't want to show these fun tools much on this channel. So we're just going to do it all in this video and just show like 500 of them. These are all coming up in a future auction. So they have them back here where they sort them. They get them out, they take pictures of them. Let me just kind of go down the row here. Like, this is what I want my house to look like someday. Let's just say that. All right, place your bets. Did we get the Uzi or the Spass 12? They're both so good. This is how I should have had the Spass. Like the uh, Jurassic Park movie. Clever girl. <laughs> They're doing an old Singer 1911. This one should be good. Yeah, I have a steak that left, so. Presentation Singer 1911 A1 with the documentation. Let's get them started in here at 25,000, but 27 and a half, now 30,000. 30,000, now 32 and a half. Yep. Another 2 and a half, now 35,000. It's gotta be 35,000. 32 and a half, now 35. 35,000, now 37 and a half. 37 and a half, now 40,000. Bid on this one. 40, Bid on this one. Bid on this one. 37 and a half, now 40,000. Anybody 40,000? You said 40, you were looking 40, for a 1911. 40,000 in the back, now 42,500. Live is Brock High. 42,500, now 45,000. It's gotta be 45,000. 42 and a half is the Rock Island line, now 40, yeah. 45,000, now 47 and a half, 42 Dang. line, now 47 and a half, yeah. 47 and a half, now 50,000, 50,000, now 55, now make the jump, it's got to be 55,000, yeah. 55, now 60,000, what do you say, it's 60,000, 55 is the Rock Island line, it's got to be 60,000, what's your wife going to say when she knows you quit, 55, <laughs> now 60,000, 60, she's going to say thank you, 65, it's got to be 65,000, 65, now 70,000, it's got to be 70,000, 65 is the Rock Island line, now 70,000, what do you say, yeah. 70,000. 65 now 70,000. What is 70,000? Are we all through? All satisfied. Last call. Fair warning is 70,000. Come call. on, man. Sold. 65,000. Bidder number 22. Rock Island Live. Thanks for that 3,500. Two bidder number. I'm not drinking at 2 p.m. You're drinking at 2 p.m. We're just walking through the, the belly of this place and we're looking at these mannequins and I was telling, I told David this story before, but what happened the first time I went to buy mannequins, and by mannequins, I mean real actors that were in my videos. Uh, it was Bobby Buns and Pistol Pete. Um, I named them. Bobby Buns was just a mannequin just like that, just standing, a white, they were just all white with like kind of smoothed out features to where, like, check them out. Like, they were very similar to this, where they don't really have a face, like you can't really see where the eyes are. They're just white. Everything's kind of smoothed out. Uh, that's all Bobby Buns was. Pistol Pete, his face was pretty smoothed out, but he was sitting, for one, he was super ripped, like he had, he had abs, very ripped, muscular, and he was sitting in a provocative pose, kind of like this, and you could see everything. There was a lot of definition down here, and it was super weird, and so I went to the, the place, I walk in this guy's backyard, he has a tent, he, I found these on Craigslist. This guy's a tent in his backyard, and I walk up and I'm like, I'm like, where are the mannequins at? And he's like, oh, they're in the tent. Like, okay, so we go in there, he's got 40 mannequins in there, and I, I hadn't seen the ones I wanted yet. So I'm looking at these mannequins and he's like, here's one, here's another one. And I see Pistol Pete over there just spread, just proud. And I was like, how much for that one? He was like, you want that one? I was like, that is the one. I want I want one regular one and then I want this one. And we loaded her up, took her home and made YouTube history, cheers. Can you explain what that is? Uh, this is a belt buckle gun. So there is a belt attached to it. So There's that makes sense so far. It. it is marked loose. It's engraved, but it's also black powder percussion. So you are pouring black powder in here and a wad and a lead ball. <laughs> and leaving it next and to you your family jewels. you have to put a percussion cap here <laughs> and hope it doesn't chain fire. Do they all fire? That's a great question. So it, it definitely looks like a gun though. If you had that on your belt buckle, everyone's gonna know you're pointing a, yeah. You would not get through TSA. No, that <laughs> would not happen. It's cool, <laughs> but it doesn't, it's not very secretive. It's not a concealed carry, that's an open carry belt buckle. Is that a good video? I like it. Is it good? The guy who makes these videos is really dumb. Super dumb. Handsome though, he's very handsome. And modest, totally, totally modest. All right, that is it for me. We are leaving Rock Island Auction Company. I wanted to say thank you to the guys there for making us feel welcome. Uh, they were awesome. All the guys were really cool and it was a super cool experience. I may have to come back. Hey, we got Demolisha over here. She watches your videos all the time. Awesome, what's your name? Uh, Lauren. Lauren, that's awesome. I like your headband. It's, it's really cool. <laughs> you guys are gonna be in the vlogs. Oh, awesome. 
<laughs> that was the smallest little demolition member ever. What was I saying? Oh yeah, the guys at Rock Island Auction were awesome. Uh, all the people in uh, Illinois and Iowa have been super awesome. It's my first time to come to both states and Idaho, apparently. <laughs> Just kidding, that's a joke from a couple episodes ago. Uh, we're heading back now and danger, unfortunately, we're gonna have to take the private jet again. <laughs> but you know, I don't wanna, I don't wanna be all like, like lame and like make it like an epic edit this time. No, I, I still do. I think we've officially been spoiled, and yeah. I'll, I'll never fly commercial again. I don't, yeah, I don't think it's even an option. Not even an option. I'd rather walk than fly in a commercial jet. Uh, do I turn right here? Uh, yeah. Where's the driver? We need a driver. <laughs> we definitely need our driver. Um, so I got to sit in the cockpit uh, on the way down, which is cool. So they gave me a headset so I can hear them talking and I can talk back to them. And one of the pilots goes, what did he say? He, he says, what the? and then he's dead quiet and he's looking at one of the monitors and the other pilot's like looking at him like this and I'm like, oh no, like what do I do? And the other pilot goes, why did you say what the, what, what'd, you, what'd you say, why'd you say that? And he goes, oh nothing, this, this screen wasn't working, it's working now. And he goes, God, he goes, you're freaking me out over here. And I was like, you think you're freaking out? What do you think I'm feeling like? Guys, I was, I was scared. There was a spot, we were coming in, you can see Austin, Texas, and in the distance, uh, further out, you can see San Antonio, and then over to the side, you can see Houston. So there was a time where we could see every one of those big cities at once, which I thought was pretty crazy. That's it. We are going home. We're back in Texas and glad to be here. Thanks for watching Off The Ranch. I love you, and I'll see you next time. Hey, what camera is that number? Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell Mare. <laughs>